Good morning, farm and animal lovers. How are you? It is another perfect morning out here. And the high today will probably be in the high 50s. And I'm coming out to greet my animals. <laughs> and it is beautiful. So let's give the little piggies here some, a uh, uh, little bit of leftover lettuce. How you guys doing, huh? What's going on? Look at those tusks, man. You got some tusks coming out. Come on. There you go. Oh, you see him? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come, there you go. Man, I mean, look at that. And then even Buckeye over there. Oh, yeah. Okay, you ready for some lettuce? Here it comes. So it's only mid-October. It hasn't been really cold yet. We've gotten down into the 30s once or twice. But Jojo here has started getting her winter coat. Nice and thick and furry and fluffy. Oh man, you're ready, aren't you? Yes, you are. I just love it when that happens. So if there's one thing I've learned over the years of hobby farming, is that when you have a good idea and it works, it doesn't mean it's always gonna work. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, case in point right here, these guys. When you have a group of hogs, uh, it's a lot different than having just two in a, in a pen. And specifically, I'm talking about feeding. Whenever I had just two, I had a food bowl right here, a fence dividing, and a food bowl over here. And you could usually get them timed where you could pour one food bowl in when the hogs are on the other side of the fence, they come over and then you put it in the other side. Well now, they are all quick and they split up. <laughs> what is wrong with you guys? Holy cow! Uh, and then it, it's hard to feed from this side of the fence. So I'm gonna have to go in there, I think, and just walk along and pour stuff in their bowls because they they drag their bowls more way out into the pasture, and it's just more difficult. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, they're funny. So anyway, uh, this divider that works really well for two isn't doing such a great job when there's more than, how many in there now, nine? Yeah, nine. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to give you a little taste of what it's like to feed these pigs now over here and uh, I got to get the bowls up close to the fence and then I got to you know time it so that there's empty bowls I can pour food in it, it, it's fun it keeps you in shape I'll tell you that
You can almost hear yourself think, can't you? Well, the chickens have been following me around real close today. So that usually means that they are itching for some scratch. So let me get them some. Satisfy that itch, you know what I mean? All right, I get it. So I throw the scratch, this stuff, in their run for two reasons. One, to keep the goats away from it because the goats will eat it right off the ground. And goats eating stuff right off the ground is uh, inviting parasites. So I put it in there and um, I hope that they will, you know, trample down some of that overgrowth in there when I do that. So I'm going to put it in there right now. <laughs> the goats were eating my clothes. Whoop, what are you doing there, bub? So it'll take them a second, but they'll learn to go in there and get this. There's one. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Are you going in there? Come on. Yeah. There's a smart chicken right there. <laughs> oh, there they go. Yeah. I got some smart chickens. The uh, the guineas usually are the last because they're kind of slow. <laughs> but they end up getting in there. Here, watch this. The goats walk by. Come on, guineas. I think every chicken went in there already. There's one. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know how to do it. There you go. There you go. Now there's just one guinea left. <laughs> I think that one guinea never did figure out how to go in there. So silly. I think soon I'm going to move the boars, a uh, boar and barrow, over into that other pen for the winter, or at least for the beginning of winter, because they've worn this place pretty much down. There's not much grass. I mean, there still is some. Guys, guys, it's not, it's not polite to be rude. I'm trying to talk here. Hey. <sighs>
One of, one of the negatives about winter is that I'm going to be doing this manually with big buckets. <sighs> it's a pain, but there's no other way to do it, really. Hey, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to continue being a part of all the adventures and stories that happen on Rubber Soul Farm. I hope we can spend more time together on the farm, but until then, enjoy your animals and take care of yourselves.